Yeah, so let's talk about those Browns. They're revamping a wide receiver group that was one of the worst in the NFL last season. At Cleveland's wideouts, guys, had the fewest receptions in the NFL, mm. the second fewest yards and touchdowns. Baker Mayfield threw six touchdowns and ten interceptions when targeting wide receivers last season. That's the second worst ratio in the NFL. And I mean, you can what? look at this thing multiple different ways, what? right? And I, I do think that. Um, Let's make sure we get Adam's mic killed so we don't listen to anything that we shouldn't. Yeah, there we go. Adam's out. All right. That's a word, right? Pertinent. Yeah, exactly. We, listen, we're, we're, not, trying to, we're, we're yeah. not trying to put out his so? info until he's no. ready. No. Anyway, yeah, as we go with the Browns, Landry released, Cooper signed. Marcus, is, is Cooper what Baker Mayfield needs to finally get to the point where some people had hoped he would be? Uh-oh. Here we listen, go. Listen, man. Are you mad about the Cowboys? If he can yeah. throw it to him. <laughs> Okay, that's really what it boiled down to. <laughs> what the to. heck does that mean? I mean, think about what we talked about oh, like the last man. couple of years. I if he could get you. him the ball, I hate to say it, but it's the truth. It, it is something you really do have to take into account. One, you got to take into account what, what Kevin Stefanski wants to do. Yeah. And that's, he wants to be physical at the line of scrimmage and run the football. We all know that, right? Let's get past that. Amari Cooper is still one of the better route runners. Agree. In creating separation in the NFL. Agree. There will be no excuse unless a team is going to put a safety over the top of Amari Cooper and double him and say we are taking him away. There is no reason Baker Mayfield shouldn't be able to get him the ball. And I know what people talk about, dude. Well, because, you know, me being the Dallas Cowboy fan, his motivation. Where is Amari Cooper in, in crunch? crunch time situations where yeah. is he in those moments those are all legitimate questions the one question one legitimate thing I know about Amari Cooper he's going to be open okay mm. he's going to find ways and opportunities to be open this, we all know this is Baker pressure situation right now think about this I'm gonna leave y'all with this Jarvis Landry came from Miami one of the hottest names as a wide receiver yeah leave it in that in that trade or when going. they acquired I know where you're going Odell Beckham Jr. was there said he, they're a better team without him. Baker's a better quarterback without him. OBJ just won a Super Bowl. All right? Yeah. So, okay. this I is see. until, like, if, if this don't work, who, what's next? What are we going to say next? Well, well Mina, do you think this is going to work? I think it could work. Um, you know, we have to consider <laughs> Baker's case. struggles last year <laughs> in the framework of the fact that he was playing injury, through yeah. injury, which we all acknowledge. Mm. Um one hopes this doesn't end the way OBJ's uh, tenure did, um, that Amari Cooper doesn't have a relative putting out a video of him getting open uh, at, at the end of all of this. But I, I, I got to say, you know, it's entirely possible that Amari Cooper's tenure in Cleveland outlasts Baker's if it does trend that way, potentially True. even before. There's a lot of smoke around the Browns possibly moving on, and, and that's fine because the more I look at this deal, the more I like it, uh, especially – in the context of the Christian Kirk deal. Essentially, the Browns traded nothing to pick up Amari Cooper's $20 million cap hit this year. After that, his contract is entirely flexible and they are free to move on from him. Seeing what Kirk got? I think Amari Cooper is a more talented wide receiver. Yeah. So uh, when you consider the value, I actually think this looks better and better for the Browns. And I think he can be a centerpiece of this offense. Yeah, it was a needed move for the Browns. And I agree with you that I think Amari's probably a, an upgrade over Christian Kirk when it comes to route running. I would say this. The Browns are in such a unique spot right now, given what has transpired in the AFC over the past couple weeks. Because I think all of us would say Browns roster, playoff caliber, potentially yeah. Super Bowl caliber, right? Mm -hmm. And I think if we look at the young quarterbacks, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, and Lamar Jackson, all five of those guys have something in common, two things in common. They're superstars, and they got good rosters around them. So the Browns have half of that equation. They got a good roster. I can't sit here and tell you that Baker Mayfield's a superstar. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.